Hi guys, this is Rishab Kapoor from websofttutorials.com. In this tutorial, guys, I want to teach you about the visible and display properties of CSS. Firstly, guys, we will talk about visible properties. Guys, visibly, visible property specify that should we display the content or not. Means, just for an example, we will first create a div tag. I'll give uh, firstly I'll give it a border of one pixel solid width of 200 pixel height of 70 pixels mm. I'll use it here it's, I'll give it name of div1 so I'll use div id equal to div1 and I close it Firstly, I'll open it in browser. Now, can now, guys, you can see this box or div tab we, uh, we have created. I will make uh, two more div tags. I'll copy it. I will change its name. I will set it to two and give it name of three. And uh, in the same way, I will use it here. I will copy it. I will change its name and set to 2 and 3 and if I will open it in browser now you can see these div 3 div tags we have created but guys if I set its visible property means visible sorry visi visibility I will set to hidden if I refresh now you can see I have set the div2 tags visibility to hidden so it's hidden now if I'll set it to visible now you can see it's visible now now guys I will talk about display properties in case display properties specify that the how the element should be displayed firstly I will tell you the difference between display none or visibility hidden firstly we used visibility to hidden to hide this content in the same way guys we can use display to none but I will show you what is the basic difference between these two properties I will set it to none if I refresh now you can see guys if I was using visibility to hidden I will again set it now you can see the extra space is still there for add to tag means it is not leaving its extra space if I'll use display none now it will leave its extra space means it will show the content in a way that there was no and not any tag here so guys now I'll teach you about uh, more display properties firstly I'll teach you about online display inline property I will remove these two div tags. I will make a list. Guys, I'll copy it. I will copy it according to my requirement. Copy it three times, four times. Firstly, I'll write something here. I will write uh, you. I will show you how to make horizontal navigation using inline property. I'll write about us. So this is contact. Now you can see it's showing in different different line but I want to show it to it to be shown in the same line so for guys I will use display property so I will use ally because we are setting the properties of ally I will enter display to in line I will refresh now you can see it's in the same line now so in the same way I can set its width I will set it to 100 pixels 
I will increase it. Uh, should work now. Width. Okay, firstly we have set the it on order list also. I will set its width now. It should work. Okay, it will not work right now because for this I will use we have to use padding or I'll use padding 10 pixels. Now you can see its distance has been increased. But guys, uh, the reason was the width property was not working because if we will use about float left property then it will work I will teach you about floating properties in my upcoming tutorials so guys this was a simple navigation horizontal navigation menu so guys I, after this I will teach you about display inline block property firstly guys we will make a div tag I will give it a name of div2 in the same way as I have done before I will give it a border of width of uh, I will not give it width. I will set its background color to blue and foreground color to white. I will use it ID equal to day one. I write something. Uh, this is the content. If I refresh now, you can see it's taking the whole width of the page. And so, if I use diff display nine properties, now you will see the result. Set to display inline block. If I refresh now, you can see it will adjust its width according to the content. It will not cover up all the page. Means it will not cover the width of whole page so i think enough for this tutorial guys don't forget to subscribe my channel to get recent updates about my videos let's see in the next tutorial